up guys it's your boy georgie yeah i just come here to the airport I'm coming yesterday here in upolu yeah because i'm coming to wait for to pick up victoria today so today this morning i wake up at four o'clock yeah I'm, I'm i'm here at the airport i'm here at the airport Yeah, to pick up Victoria. Her flight is at five o'clock. Yeah, it's almost four thirty. But yeah, we just wait here until until her coming there. So hope you guys enjoy our videos, guys. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed our videos. So see you guys. Peace. This is Valeolo Airport. Yeah, it's so good. Good to have this airport, guys. Looking good, looking good, brass. This is the arrival. This is the arrival. And this is the Jibaja. Yep. Victoria's here, see you, Victoria's here. Hi, baby. Is she from here, Eli? Where's my mama? She's sleeping, she's still sleeping. I saw her, man. Guys, I'm finally here. I know you guys are probably missing me on the vlogs. And you would not believe what just happened. So I came out all happy to see or see. Oh, hold on. Uh, guys, anyways. So, I don't know how I did it because I remember looking at this thing on the, on the plane. I was like, better not forget that. I left my wallet on the plane and the worst place to leave it. I guess could have been a worse. It probably would have been more tougher to try and get it off if it was in Australia because of the amount of planes that board there. But basically the whole plane was boarded and... When I got out of um, customs, I went to go take some money out. When I some greeted Aussie, and I realized my wallet was not with me. And then I remembered, oh my god, where I um where I left it. It was in the pocket seat in the chair next to me. And then my heart was racing so fast. So I found a police officer. He took me in to find the right people. And then I met this guy and he was like, yeah, the, um, my boss has your wallet, but we want to know the description. So I was like telling him the description. He came like four times to ask me what's in the wallet. I'm like, I don't know what else to tell you. Like what else is in a wallet? I told you my ID. All you need to do is look at my driver's license in there, match it with my passport, which is Victoria Key. And you will see that that's me. That's my wallet. And uh, thank God I did not leave any money in there because I was going to cash out money to, um, to you know, convert when I get here. But I didn't do that because I was like, I'll just cash it out of the ATM. Then that guy that I fought with, I wanted to give him $20 because after like the fifth time, he finally came out with my wallet. And um, I wanted to give him money for it, even though he, you know, pissed me off. Um, but the ATMs didn't work, both BSP and ANZ. So we're going to town now. Poor guy missed out on his 20 bucks. But I'm so happy to be here with Oshi. Oshi, move your trolley. Yeah. Guys, I'm in summer! I can't wait to start editing the vlogs. By the time you see this one, I probably would have posted a couple up. But Oshi and I are going to go to town, have some breakfast. Um, it's so hot. Can we turn on the aircon? Turn on the aircon. I don't know how. Just so grateful to God. That poor guy missed out on his $20. I really wanted to give it to him. And his English was so good as well. What do you 
What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Is that good? Your girl looking like a shack or what? Your boy look like a snick because it's hit from the stick. <laughs> no. I'm so happy to be here with Oshi. Yeah, me and Jill can't wait that. Guys, it's Last so night. sticky already. I'm so sticky and icky. Um, you better like appreciate this face because the next couple of vlogs I ain't gonna be looking like this girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole nother story. That's the airport, everyone. It was so nice. Like even the whole process of coming in, you still have to walk on the tarmac. Oh, there's the police that helped me. Oh, sorry, guys. Guys, so I'm finally here at my family's house. Yes, this looks very familiar, doesn't it? There's mummy. There's my nephews. There's daddy. I don't know where everyone else is. Also, he brought his family's car. I'll go buy one today. So, so, how do you think I look? Pretty good. <laughs> it's so hard to film in these houses because there's like light everywhere. But basically, wanted to get on here and tell you guys it's my first few hours here. Still looking litty. Haven't gone anywhere, still chilling in the house. Also, you know, about to go pick up his brother from the war and drop him off to the airport. I think it's an airport. The one that goes to Kukuwila. And I've got my fams over there. Also, he's helping my dad. And my cousins. <laughs> Look at his bum. <laughs> That's my cousin's baby Mary. Well, she's not a baby anymore. She was. We got my lap there, just charging. Got this little fatty. It's my other cousin's baby. Sort of. Bye. This is my cousin Moon. Guys, I am super hot. I've wiped, wiped off most of my makeup. This is my bare skin. It is so hot. I am relying solely on this aircon. What's up, what's up, guys? Guys, we're here at the airport that goes to Kukuila, American Samoa. It doesn't really look like an airport. Apparently it's like, if you book your fare, you can go on the one earlier, that kind of thing. It is so hot, guys, I cannot, I cannot deal with this heat. It's my first day, so it may be a little bit difficult. <coughs> oh, that's better. Oh, I'm so hot, my eyelids are sticking together. Oh, I came to the plane with them. I guess that's departures, so they go through there, but they have to check in over here. It's so tiny. Because I can't handle this heat, guys. Okay, that's better lighting. I've actually booked um, two nights away in a hotel because I can't handle this heat. I mean, our house does have um, aircon, but like, I'd rather be in a hotel. <laughs> a hotel's aircon in town so that I can, you know, go to Fields Barbecue if I want, not have to pay for the whole family. And <laughs> hey guys, so I just freshened up, as you can see. Makeup off, everything off, just in um, t-shirt ear tights. Uh, not that you needed to know that. But I didn't even think of it. So we're staying at this place, right? I'm not even going to say the name yet because we're so popular just in case people come in, you know, try and meet <laughs> um, But anyways, so we just met a viewer 
and apparently I'm related to her but I was so young when um, we had contact that I don't actually remember her but um, she was explaining like who my parents were and she's staying at the same um, hotel that we're staying at it was just so lovely to see them she came and said hello so um, her name was Mata shout out to you Mata and your parents from Anu and Va thank you so much for watching us and her sister Pule yes we know just from that short conversation um, thank you for subscribing for keeping up with us um, and we just want to say we appreciate it yeah. and love you guys so much seeing as we're family um, but we're heading over to Vaikele to get some barbecue my favorite favorite barbecue fierce barbecue also want to apologize what are you doing also want to apologize about the boring vlogs that Siosi had done <laughs> So like it's gonna be you such a struggle that. for me to edit these vlogs guys No, you edit. But thank God I am back in town with the relevance Um, there's always something wrong with my nose, but there is something wrong with it now because I went and bought a nose ring Right before I was coming because I was like, oh, let me get a nice sturdy nose ring and the one that I wanted was too big for the current one that I had but the current one that I had wasn't really good apparently it's only for like a short term not something that you meant to wear long term and I didn't know that so the hole closed and the lady pushed it open again to the normal size and it hurt it felt like I was getting my nose pierced all over again for the first time but I'm gonna leave this oh. one in for a long time because it's much bigger it's thicker and apparently that's the normal size 18 gauge or something like that um, so that's happening but I got all of my antibiotics for it I've got um, tea tree oil and stuff like that go. guys this yeah. little boy is selling um, razors matchboxes so you <laughs> Ha. Guys, we would have given him more, but um, yeah, we're at Macca's and that's a fortune already. <laughs> and I'm sure he's not going to be the last one we see. I usually always give them extra or I'll try and find something that I want that they're selling or I'll just give it to them without buying anything. But I didn't bring any of um, these and I really need them to, Where's my wallet? Uh, you know, put ointment on my nose. I got it. And the Macca's drive through has changed like big time. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, another one's come. If you go, 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 this is only Australian money. Can I get chocolate money? Told you to stop the glass. Yeah, you're a poor way. Yeah. So my eat chase you're a poor way. Why do? If you're going to sell some money, you're going to make a boy. Wait, do you want me to give him a dollar? Extra? This dollar, my love, come on. Yeah. I don't know if I'm over there, I don't know if I'm over there. Hey! Hey, sit it. You things. Thank you! Ha! 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 Babe, that was so rude. No, they are for Yahweh. It's just for Yahweh. You see me? Yeah, me too. They're such lovely people. They finally changed the entrance of this. Because like when you used to come through drive through you used to come through that way and then exit with the way that we came. But the problem with that is that the driver's side is on this side. So when you come through this side, you have to talk to them from the passenger window. Oh, the drive through And they've renovated it all. Yep. How cool is this? Big for the 
Morning guys and welcome back to another vlog day two for me in Samoa we're here at the Bifala is it Bifala yep Bifala waiting for the container P F L waiting for a container that we On ship stuff price. over Fine. from Sydney from Australia to um, do my grandmother's grave there was like gates that we wanted to build around her grave and they told us that it's gonna be here today that's when everything will be clear and everything like that so we've been really holding out for it and we don't want to rush like my grandmother's anniversary um, death date is the 31st of July and it's the 24th today so like we need the things now because obviously we need time to actually build the gates and stuff and now they're saying that it'll probably be tomorrow or the next day so this is what i hate about our Samoan people i love the place here but there is just there's no accountability here when when you ask and you question things there's no responsibility accountability there's no obligation for them to feel like it's on them they don't want the responsibility or the accountability and that's what i hate about here it's not it's nobody's fault like here in Samoa, the customer is not always right. In Australia, the customer is always right. <laughs> but here, yeah. they don't care. Yeah. And I get that there's nothing they can do. I mean, the ship's coming. Well, what can they do? They can't speed it up. But don't give us false hope. We've planned everything around here. We've come and we've used our petrol because we don't live near town. We live far from town. And cars have come. We've got a big truckload there of stuff to come and pick this up. And it's not here. Stop. We are on the road and guess what I'm doing? Yep. And if this vlog is delayed, you can blame Siossi because he keeps telling me this is not the time to do it. But no. when's the time to do it? Do it, do it. This when's time. the time to do it? You have plenty of time. And he's annoying me because I'm I can't even hear I can't even hear what we what I'm editing because he keeps putting the bass on in the car and pumping it up. You can do it, you can do it. You I don't know if you guys remember my cousin Mayama. What's up, what's up, Mayams? How are you? Good. Yay! <laughs> Plenty of time to do the video because you didn't do it out. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry. My chest is hurting. <laughs> I don't mean to talk down on my people, but these are the typical hazards that our country is just not cautious on. Like, look at that. That's that's dropped probably about a meter since we saw it. It was like together with the wood, and it's almost touching the ground. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yes. 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 Solo, solo.
see it for the apartment. Yeah. So we just have a dinner here. That's good. Hi viewers. So we're here at um Got some mayo there, some juice. Oh. 